So as we play back where this project started, we can actually trace it back to 30 years ago, and there's a really prominent story behind that. Could you share that with us? Well, this man here is Dave Willis. He was part of the victorious team in 1963 that won the FA Amateur Cup. And Dave Willis said to me, years and years ago, here's my full kit from Wembley, shirt, shorts, and socks, and whenever the club needs the money, sell it if you like, that's fine. I made Dave a promise. I said, I'm not gonna sell it, I'm actually gonna keep it, and the day we have a permanent museum, that's going to be one of the star items. As soon as you come in the door, it's your shirt we're going to be seeing. He kept his promise. He did keep his promise. And what does it mean to you to have your kit from 1963 inside that room? Well, it's better than hanging in my wardrobe. <laughs> For sure. No, no, no. That's part of the club history. I'm part of the club history. Yeah, no, no. Just, that's just like the dream come true, isn't it? Absolutely. Going in there and seeing that. You know, that's what I, yeah, that's what I want as well. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. It's, wonderful. it's wonderful. We now have something in common, by the way. We are now known as... The Insolute Eyed Kids. Because we're both on the same very strong cancer drug. And this guy here is coming up to his birthday, because he's a very young man. He still plays walking him. football. You can tell him, I'm 80 in two weeks' time. A week and a half time. And I'm only 23, of course. Uh, this man still plays walking football. And walking cricket. And walking cricket. And the last time I phoned his wife, Christine, I said, where's Dave? She said, he's up a tree. <laughs> well, Mr. Pugh, Mr. Willis, truly inspirational story. Thanks very much.